Okay, what we're going to talk about now is one of the most powerful and empowering um, breakthroughs that you can make as a guitarist, and that's uh, that's keys. We're going to talk about keys. Now, keys are something that I didn't understand for years, and I was a little bit <coughs> I was a little bit fearful of it really because it sounded like sort of scary music theory, you know, and I didn't really want to learn music theory. I actually actively tried to avoid it um, because I didn't really want to know the rules. I wanted to just do my own thing and sort of be independent, you know, and um, that really held me back as a guitarist. I now know older and wiser. Um, understanding keys is one of the most fundamental things that you can learn. Well, in fact, I'd argue it's the most fundamental thing that you can learn as a guitarist that really moves you forward, you know, helps you understand what's happening in music, makes you a much, much better lead guitarist. Um, I mean, we're speaking specifically about chords here, but it just makes you a much more well-rounded guitarist. You can't be a good lead guitarist and not know about keys. Yeah, it's that, it's that stark, it's that black and white. But we're gonna look at it here from the perspective of chords. So first and foremost, what is a key? A key is just a collection of um, notes and chords uh, that sound good together. Now people use the term in different ways. They think about things, you know, most people think of like a key change being in like a pop song where everything raises towards the end of a song. Um, but songs can change key in much, much more subtle ways than that. That's the most obvious example when everything goes up a key. Um, but that's not, you know, um, when, when you think about keys, what I want you to think of it is from a chord point of view, a key is just a collection of chords that sound good together. This isn't a hard and fast rule. Not all songs stay in one key. You can break the rules. But what I'm giving you here is just a framework that you can use to understand how songs work and how chords work. Okay, so a key is just a collection of chords that sound good together, but it comes from the scale for that key. Okay, now that's a bit weird and sound a bit confusing, but let me give you a specific example and then hopefully this will make much more sense. So the easiest way to work out the key of a song is to just look at the first chord of the song. Nine times out of 10, that is the key. So if a song begins with A minor, the core, sorry, the key of that song will almost definitely be A minor, okay? Usually the first and last chord of a song will be the same chord. And if that's the case, that's definitely the key of that song. So let's say, for example, there's a song that begins in the chord with a chord uh, of C, or C major to give it its full name. And you start to need to specify major or minor uh, once you start talking about keys. So let's say that the first chord of a song is C. Okay, now what that means is almost definitely the key of this song will be C. So what that means for you as a guitarist is, okay, cool, so you know that if the key of the song is C major, then that means that the C major scale is what's, you know, kind of powering this song. So the C major scale... That's the C major scale. Don't get too hung up on this being C major. It's the principle I want to discuss with you here. So the, the, the scale of C major becomes the key of C major. The two things are the same. The, you know, the, the, the notes from the C major scale are the chords in the key of C major. I'm going to repeat that, okay? If you've got a pen and paper handy, you might want to write this down because this is the sort of the heart of this lesson. The main thing I want you to take from this. The notes in the scale of C major become the chords in the key of C major. All right, now this is brilliant for you to know. It's really good for you to know because you can work out the chords of any key using the guitar as a tool. Watch this. There are three major chords in every key and there are three minor chords in every key. Okay, really important. Three major chords, three minor chords. To work them out, we'll use C as an example. C is a nice easy key to work in because there's no sharps or flats. The notes in the key of C major are C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Dead easy, yeah? 
A, B, C, D, F, G, basically, but you begin with C. So here we go. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Dead simple. Now what we can pick here is the first, the fourth, and the fifth notes that we just said. They're the major chords. So C, so that note C becomes the chord of C. The fourth note is F, so it becomes F. And the fifth note is G, so that's G. Now this is the pattern, watch carefully, okay? Major chord, major chord, major chord. Can you see that pattern there? Of the root note is here, and I'm going down one and along two. That pattern will always be one, four, five. Major chord, major chord, major chord. This note is C, so the chord is C, C major. This note is F, so the chord is F. This note is G, so the chord is G. Now this is the cool bit. To work out the minor chords, you just move down three. So that's our C note. We could be using this for any key, remember, we just happen to be using C as an example. So our major chords are C, F, G. And if we go down three, one, two, three, then that gives us A. But remember, these are the minor chords. So A minor, D minor, and E minor. These three notes are A, D, and E. So they become A minor, D minor, and E minor. Now that pattern that I've just given you there works in every key. Okay, this is amazing, dude. You know, this means that you can use the guitar to work out chords on the fly, if needs be. Let's say, for example, you're writing a song and your first chord, I don't know, is D. And you're trying to think of something that will go nicely with D. Well, I've just shown you a kind of blueprint that you can use to find the six chords that will always work perfectly together in the key. So D. We can go down three. One, two, three. Brings us to B minor. Back to D. We can play a G. What I want you to see here is that, you know, a key is just a collection of chords that sound good together. And I've now shown you how you can work out what they are. Let's do one more example. Let's look at the key of A major. Okay, so we find A on our sixth string, which is here on the fifth fret, that's A. So to work out the three major chords in the key of A, we just go A, and then we come down to these two here. And these two notes are D, so that chord becomes D major. This note is E, so that chord becomes E major. So A, D, E. Now those three chords will always sound brilliant. It doesn't matter what order we play them in. It barely matters what rhythm we play them in. Those three chords will always work well together because they're in the same key, okay? The notes harmonize together well and complement one another. Yeah, really, really important. Let's work out the three minor chords in the key of A and then we'll call it a day for this lesson. So the key of A is here. Oh, sorry, the note of A. So we need to go down three. One, two, three. So that is F sharp minor here, B minor, and here. So we're still applying that same pattern, okay? So we've got F sharp minor, B minor, and C sharp minor. So that same pattern that gives us the major chords up here, A, D, E, yeah? That gives us the minor chords down here, F sharp minor, B minor, and C sharp minor. So those six chords will always sound great together. Um, I hope you found this useful. I hope it's kind of got you thinking about keys. I hope it's maybe simplified the concept. There's nothing fancy about a key, just a group of chords that sound good together. The main thing I want you to take away from this lesson is that the notes of a scale become the chords of the key for that same scale. And of course, I've shown you the pattern so you can work that out. Really, really powerful lesson, all right? I hope that this has uh, opened your eyes to some new stuff. Now you have to go away and apply this, okay? Look at, pick the first chord of any song you can think of and then work out what the key, what the chords would be in that key. 
and then look at the song, you know, find it on ultimate tabs or ultimate guitar tabs or something. You know, test this a few times. Don't just let this video wash over you, like go and actually apply it, you know. Um, it's a really, really powerful lesson to get under your belt, this one. Hope you found it useful and uh, I'll catch up with you again soon.